life, love, relationships. Wait, we're going to give away all our secrets? Welcome to The Man Perspective with K-Man and the Dawn. Welcome to The Man Perspective. Today, we're talking about the topic, if you could live any place in the world, money's not an option, job is not a blocker, where would you pick? Me, myself, I like Europe. I like Paris. Yeah? Paris, France, yeah. You know what I like about Paris? Hmm. No matter where you go, especially the eateries, right? Hmm. Go, you get yourself a sandwich or what have you, it give you a bottle of wine. <laughs> really? Yeah, give you a bottle of wine, man. Hmm. You know, every meal like practically comes with a bottle of wine. Oh wow! And that wine is good. I mean, that wine is very, very smooth, and I mean, you can barely taste the alcohol, but it's it's smooth. Sneaks up on you? Yeah, it'll sneak up on you, but it's smooth though. It's smooth, and you know, you go and get yourself a sandwich. Boom, and get you a bottle of wine. You know, whatever oh, wow. meal you get, bottle of wine comes with it. You know what I mean? Hmm. You know, at least that's what it was with me. They just hey. Bottle of wine, here you go. I'm guessing wine is the drink of choice. Yeah, they even give their kids wine. Because, really? uh, yeah, it's, they drink that more than they drink water. Or they drink wine just like water. Oh, wow. <laughs> so their favorite beverage is a glass of wine. Interesting. And I'm not talking about cheap wine. I'm talking about real good grapes, fermented, marinated over years type wine. Real French wine, yeah, oui, oui, easy like wine. Every, yeah, like every restaurant like has their own grapevine in the backyard somewhere. Oh, you know wow. what I mean? That they do their own bottle of wine. That's at least that's what I was finding. Like most of the restaurants that I went to, yeah, they all had their own wine yard in the back. Not messing around, back. I see. Nah, they don't mess around, man. Wine is their their beverage of choice. Yeah, so it seems like it could be great. You know what I mean? It's great. The people are nice. I love Paris, France. A lot to see. A lot of nice, interesting museums, which yeah. I must say, besides the Louvre and all, I mean, there's a whole lot of different museums over there. So the whole culture, the art, the music, you know, jazz and all like that, that would be my spot. Nice. That would be my spot. What about you? For me, it would probably be Italy. It would have to be somewhere on the Italian coast. I've never been, but I've always wanted to go. It just... That's, you know, that's where my family's originally from. Love everything about it, though. Like, you know, the countryside, just pictures that I've seen. I can see myself just walking casually through a little town, eating at, you know, the local restaurants and just enjoying the scenery and taking it all in. That would be the place for me. And they have great wine there, too. They do. They do. They also have the espresso, which... You know, I, I'm I love coffee, so to me, that's that's right up my alley. Okay, okay, yeah, that's a good place somewhere in Europe. That's what I, I. It's a great destination. Are your relationships rocky? Is your career a little iffy? Is life just not treating you the way it should? Well, we got the answer. You better tune in to the Man Perspective, K Man and the Dog. I can see myself living there. Retiring there. Absolutely. You know, just walking around, you know, Jean Chagelet and uh, just enjoying those sidewalk cafes and, you know, art festivals and things like that and just nice little restaurants. And it's little or nothing. It's not expensive to eat there, which is good too. And you can eat good. You can eat really, really good in, 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 uh, in France. I mean, the food, the cuisine is, is out of this world. If you ever get a chance, definitely check it out. I would love to. Uh, yeah, but I, I could definitely see myself uh, living there, you know, retiring there and just enjoying life, man. And, you know, they say the expectancy, life expectancy there is a lot higher than the United States, you know. Because there's no stress. Yeah. Yeah. None. None at all. Well, there's probably some. Which, which wine are you going to pick today? That could be stressful. It could be. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, taking those nice little boat dinner dinner boat rides down the scene, the river scene. Nice. Oh man, beautiful, romantic, nice, and it's a romantic place too, which is good. So yeah. if you got a good significant other to enjoy that with, oh yeah, that you're gonna live it. a long time. Yeah, you're gonna live a long time there, man. You can enjoy life for sure. Absolutely, you, know, you enjoy life for sure. That's a good place. That's a good place. Now I like the Caribbean. Don't get me wrong. I do like the island living. I could definitely, you know. Walk on the island somewhere and just 
you know, sell straw hats <laughs> on the right. beach. That you works. Know what I mean? <laughs> that works. You know, if I'm an old guy, you know what I mean? I'd just be on the beach looking at the young women in their bikinis and stuff and, you know, selling straw hats, man. Hey, that's life. Eating bananas and, you know, fruits and stuff off the trees. Thing to do there, open up a jet ski rental place. You'll clean up. Clean up. No, you know what I would like to do, man? I like to do, uh, I like to open up like a bar or something. Like well, one yeah, those, yeah. One of those bars. You ever see that movie? Uh, I think, who is it? Tom Tom Cruise. He did a movie called uh, Cocktails. I've never seen that one. Ah, that was good. It was about, he was about a bartender in New York. And I mean, the guy opened up a, a bar down in Jamaica. And, and that was his dream, to, you know. Opened up a little bar down there, and he opened up a little bar and fell in love and all this good stuff. But that's the way to do it, man. Go to like an island, open up a nice little bar, and yeah. psh, where can you go wrong? That's true. <laughs> that is true. I mean, you know, live in paradise, work in paradise. Yeah, alcohol and just serving now, serving drinks. Yeah. You know, serving drinks. I mean, I'm a little mixologist myself. I mean, I, you know, I do a little bartending and. Listen, I'll make some drinks and, and open up a little bar down in Jamaica somewhere or Caribbean Island somewhere, man. Right on the beach. I like to have it, like, right on the beach. That'd be beautiful. Yeah. Oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would do. You know what I mean? And just live my life right there, man. Right there on the beach. Have a little bar. Making drinks for people. Talking, chatting. Stress-free. Oh, it sounds stress-free. Sounds you know beautiful. I mean? Stress free. You got the water in the background. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. How can you not? <laughs> I'd be on my way right now. That's it. That's the life to lead. If you're going to lead a life, that's the life to lead. Absolutely. You know, I would definitely do that. Fellas, are you tired of sitting at the holiday dinner tables having to answer questions as to why you are not in a relationship? Well, we can solve that problem. Tune in to The Man Perspective with K-Man and the dog. But hey, get at us at themanperspective at gmail.com and uh, let us know where you would go. Is there a favorite place that you would like to call home or a place that you would uh, live and retire and live out the rest of your life or just live and stay there for the rest of your life and live life to the fullest on The Man Perspective. Now you heard our perspective, it's time to hear yours. Get at us at themanperspective at gmail.com. Or use the hashtag themanperspective. <laughs>